What I'm gonna do is use a table that we've already got sitting in Redshift. Um, it's a set of customers, their email addresses, and I'm gonna push that into an audience on the Facebook side. Now, um, the way that our Facebook integration works is we let you push to multiple Facebook audiences at the same time by providing that as an identifier in the, in the, the database record. Um, and then mapping that to the, the, the right audience uh, as part of the sync creation step. So I'm going to first go in and uh, just use the models feature in Census to augment a table that I've already got sitting in the database. Uh, just in this case, I'm going to hard code the audience ID with it. So I'll pick Redshift. I've got some SQL drop in here. That's got the audience ID in it and I'm just pulling from customers. I could certainly add other fields if I was gonna populate that. When you see the results of it, you're gonna see a bunch of example email addresses and sure enough, the audience ID. So I've got my data all ready to go. Now I've gotta add Facebook. The process is really straightforward. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, going through the OAuth flow with Facebook. And when I get back to census, all of the Facebook ad accounts that are available will show up here. I'm just gonna pick the one uh, that I'm going to be targeting, in this case, census. And now it's just a matter of creating the sync. So I'll go in and grab that model that I just created, and I'm going to map to the uh, customer object on my Facebook audience account. The next step is to tell census how to match data in the database with objects in the destination. So we're going to use email as the identifier on both sides of this equation. And we'll use that to make sure that if there are changes to property values, that we're updating the existing object in the audience as opposed to creating a new one. If we can't find any email address, then we'll create a new record. So we're doing that with the insert new and update existing. So we'll drop into the sync here. And the only thing I'm going to map is the audience identifier to the audience ID field on this is Facebook side. So I'm just going to create this relationship between our new customers and that audience. I could do that by name as well if I didn't have the ID. We'll create the sync. And as we saw in the demo today, it's just a matter of running it again. So I'll get that sync running. Once it's done, you can see it's updated 10 records. And if I switch over to Facebook and I take a look at the history, Facebook audiences doesn't make it super obvious. Sure enough, um, we've got 10 new audience records as part of that uh, custom audience. So that's the process of creating a sync with census. Okay, thanks.